Welcome to a brand new episode of Good Sense by Union Assurance. In today's world, it's clear that there's a strong grasp for financial planning as it's essential for securing a financial well-being. Today we dive into the topic of bank assurance. And joining with us is Vishant Vijay Singh, Head of Bank Assurance at Union Assurance. Could you provide an overview of bank assurance and how it operates within the financial sector? So bank assurance, I, I get asked this question a lot, so what is bank assurance? Uh, especially from my friends who are outside the financial services sector. Um, so the short answer, it's a distribution model, it's a distribution method. Uh, but maybe at the risk of oversimplifying, let me draw parallels uh, by bringing into example another, maybe another industry. Let's say soft drinks industry, for example, they would have multiple distribution channels within uh, their company, the main one being the traditional distribution. Uh, they would distribute via modern trades as through the supermarkets and the Horeca channels through the hotels, restaurants. So similar to, similar to that, in life insurance, we have multiple distribution channels. Um, traditionally in Sri Lanka, the, the main, the primary distribution model has been uh, through the agent, it's the agent model. Uh, so insurance agents selling life insurance through their networks, through their connections, through referrals. Um, and this, this accounts for uh, maybe a big portion of the life insurance distribution. Outside of the traditional distribution, that's outside of the agent distribution model, the retail operation, we have what is called partnership distribution. And in partnership distribution, the main distribution model is bank assurance. So as the, the name suggests, bank assurance is uh, distribution sold through the bank's networks to the bank's customers, very simply put. Um, what, it, what this gives uh, an insurer, life insurer, is uh, by being uh, deeply entrenched in the banking system, in, in their operations, in their culture, it gives, sort of, gives us extended reach, enhanced reach, uh, access to a wider customer base, so the cu bank's customer base itself. Uh, it gives us mechanisms to optimize on our cost, the cost of distribution overall as a company. Um, and in Banka, uh, especially in Banka, it gives us the opportunity to personalize products, to give customized products to our customers. So the agency distribution model is more B2C. Uh, Banka is more, if you want to get technical, B2B to B2C, to uh, where we and we place our own employees within the bank's networks. So uh, it's, they're on our payroll, so they're known as insurance relationship officers or insurance relationship managers uh, who report to a regional manager, zonal manager, and a channel head uh, in that particular network. So this, this gives us direct access, and, and there are a lot of benefits in this dis distribution method. So Vishant, can you elaborate more about how this distribution model works within a bank? Uh, sure. Uh, so to answer that question, it's a, it's a very, uh, it's a customer segment specific approach. So within the distri distribution model that is bank assurance, there are multiple distribution channels within the bank. Uh, broadly categorized, maybe the physical aspect, uh, we have the digital aspect and then maybe the events and the customer seminar re related activation aspect. Uh, so touching on the the physical aspect, um, mainly where the leads are generated via the branch network, the physical branch network. Uh, so anyone at a bank's branch, so be it the branch manager, maybe the system manager, credit officer, relationship manager, um, anyone who has uh, direct links with the customer, uh, or even, even the central units like the central SM units, remittance units, corporate units. Uh, they, they will provide to the insurance company what is called a warm lead. Uh, I'll touch more on what this warm lead is. And the sale, the conversion of the sale happens by our IRO, that's our employee. That's the physical aspect, so that's the warm lead model. On top of this, there's this thing called the walk-in model where our IRO will approach the walk-in traffic at the branch, in the branch lobby, uh, and canvas uh, for sales. Um, 
on top of that, so that's the physical aspect. Then what we have is the digital aspect, uh, which is something we are very serious about and pursuing within UNA Insurance as well, uh, where leads are generated via, via the bank's digital assets or digital platforms. Uh, and I will touch more on that maybe later. Uh, these leads are then again transferred to or maybe reached out to the customer via call center and then handed over to one of our IROs for the sale. Uh, so that's primarily and then we have the, the customer, the seminars and activations piece uh, that works. So I, I mentioned warm lead before. Um, so what, what a warm lead is basically uh, the branch, the bank staff would approach one of their customers, they would say, uh, hey, I noticed that you have this particular need or you have this particular gap uh, in your protection, in your financial protection needs. Uh, we have tied up with an insurance partner, Union Insurance. Would you want to have a chat? And then they would garner that in initial interest from the customer and basically warm that customer up to listen to an insurance uh, sales pitch. Uh, so that's how the warm, that's what a warm lead essentially is. Um, and and the and the branch, the bank, is trained on this, on how to identify a need, how to warm the lead. Um, so need identification is a significant part of the bank training that we do. Um, objection handling, uh, insurance belief. So these are some of the aspects that we build into the bank's culture as well. So insurance, so bank assurance becomes part and parcel of their daily operations. So it's, like I said, deeply entrenched. Uh, it's, it's a part of their culture. In the end, the bank insurance becomes part and parcel of their culture, and that's how, in a nutshell, how the distribution works within within a bank. In a nutshell, how do banks benefit from a bank assurance partnership? To answer that question, I'll talk about the one-stop shop concept, where a bank is able to offer to their customers a comprehensive financial protection solution, uh, protection solutions. Um, so banks customer would have various needs, right? Um, needs to, to spend, to save, invest, borrow, um, and on top of all those needs, they would have the need for financial protection as well. Uh, with a bank assurance partnership in place, the bank will be able to offer that as well to their customer. So the, the portfolio that they can offer to their customer is that much more comprehensive. And that is a significant part of what we do with bank assurance for the bank. And when we talk about this one-stop shop concept, we're not talking about just the physical aspect, we're talking about uh, the digital aspect as well, where the customer on the bank's uh, website, for example, or the mobile banking app, uh, the payments app, or WhatsApp banking, the social media channels, they can access or fulfill the insurance needs on that itself. So, it's a, it's a comprehensive experience, comprehensive solution portfolio that the bank can offer even via their di digital channels. For example, a customer can view their current policy details via the bank's app. Uh, they can pay their premiums. They can do an evaluation on their financial needs, what their protection gap is, uh, request to speak to an insurance agent. So all this happens in one place and that is a significant enhancement to the customer experience that we have the bank with. This this indirectly results in the increase of share of wallet for the bank and also it enhances the new to bank customer acquisition efforts of the bank. Uh, the bank with a bank assurance partnership is, is able to offer complementary solutions to their customers alongside their banking products. For an example, say a loan facility positioned alongside a loan protection product or uh, a kid's savings plan, for example, positioned alongside an education insurance product. So this complementary product suite is something that, again, we help the bank with. Uh, given the, the long-term nature of insurance products, life insurance products, uh, with premiums being paid over 5, 10, sometimes even 15 years, this builds stickiness right, for the bank with the customer, inherently results in customer retention, uh, customer loyalty. Are there any distinctive advantages of bank assurance for customers? Yes, the modern day customer demands convenience, a superior customer experience. They want customized tailor-made solutions, especially when it comes to life insurance. And, and also they, 
they are after that element of trust as well this again especially in the case of life insurance so everyone's dreams aspirations priorities they come in various forms or shapes uh, so the need for customized solutions is that much more important uh, a one size fits all approach doesn't work in life insurance so so how does bank assurance help in that in that regard the bank the bank will have a thorough understanding of your needs of your income levels of your the, the stage of life your li your life stage uh, important life events the bank is aware of all this and this is not just through physical or physical interactions with your relationship manager or with the branch for example um, it's also we are also able to uncover these insights via data analytics initiatives uh, which we do in in partnership with the bank uh, we are able to predict at at what point we should pitch this particular product the product recommendation the next product that we should recommend to a customer the customer profiles so all this can be done via data analytics initiatives and all of this helps with this tailor made approach customized solutions for example at the time the customer opts for a kids savings products you position the education product at that very time so it's very relevant very timely at the time the customer opts for a loan facility you you position uh, insurance uh, the loan protection insurance product so so in terms of timeliness relevance tailor made solutions that's where uh, both players the insurance company and the bank can combine the data and combine the insights combine the experience that they have with the customers and offer these customized solutions which the customer appreciates and thereafter uh, so all of this on the long term it helps the customer builds that that long term relationship with the bank and the insurer Vishan can you explain a bit more about the importance of bank assurance at union assurance yes uh, if you look at the the region the business mix about 30 to 50% of the volumes are generated via the partnership distribution uh, channel uh, and if you look at sri lanka traditionally we account for about 90 to 95% via the traditional retail channel which is the agency channel so the balance 5 to 10% is via the partnership distribution channel so there in lies the big opportunity for bank assurance for sri lankan life insurance players at union assurance we we recognize this opportunity and we've built our capability over the last 10 to 12 years uh, currently with the highest number of banking partnerships in sri lanka with a team strength of over 300 uh, we saw in 2023 our volumes grow triple the the rate of industry uh, so it's it's safe to say that bank assurance is a key strategic focus area for union assurance this this opportunity when you couple it with the fact that sri lanka in general is a heavily underinsured population if you look at the percentage of the population that is insured or even the the premiums as a percentage of gdp our ratios are well below well below our regional peers and this this is an opportunity that can be capitalized even looking at the fact that and on top of this we've seen the the protection gap widening so this protection gap is the the financial protection that is actually needed versus the financial protection that people actually have in place or have secured thank you vishal for joining with us today and sharing those valuable insights with us thank you thank you for having me i'm sure our audience has greatly benefited from the comprehensive review of bank assurance so stay tuned for more episodes of good sense